Our focus turns to Iran now, one of the top infected countries, and their struggle to make it to the other side. Fox's Alina Shirazi has that story. 24-year-old Ahmed Ahmadi is a law school student in Miami. Like many Americans, the coronavirus pandemic is always on his mind. My grandparents, they haven't left their home in about two, three weeks, almost a month. But his concerns are mostly abroad with his family in Iran, where the death toll is now the fourth highest in the world after Italy, Spain, and China. Because they're they are elderly. The one is above 70, one is close to hitting 80. They are more f afraid of coronavirus. Doctors and nurses in Iran are doing their best to handle the crisis. A nurse who did not want to be identified says they are running low on hospital beds, gloves, masks, and testing kits. We have to use all our equipment on the patients. We use as much as we have, but there's nothing we can do. When there's not enough protection, we have to work without any. We have to visit the patients without any cover or hospital gowns. Unlike other countries, Iran is not only dealing with the complications of the virus. Couple that with sanctions and tensions between Tehran and Washington. We are hoping the situation will get fixed soon. Until now, there has been no help so far in Iran. We've not seen the proper response or support from people here or the government. The Iranian Ministry of Health is now publicly rejecting outside help, claiming the country does not need more medical resources. One married couple in Tehran who didn't want to be named says they are concerned about how their country is handling the virus internally. We know that the Iranian government didn't accept uh, United States hope. Governments uh, don't publish any, uh, any right news uh, about that. If you want to test your health, it's $50. It's still not much for people. Iran's health ministry says one person dies from coronavirus every 10 minutes and 50 people are infected by the hour. Alina Shirazi, Fox 5 News.